When I say BMW, what do you think of? What comes to your mind? The dream car. The Gusheshe. The I'll get one when I'm big kind of car. BMW's impact on South African car culture is undeniable. Exciting, often inspiring, occasionally controversial, but always making an impact. This is not a brand that leaves people undecided or, or lukewarm or half-hearted. It fires up emotions, passions, dreams. In South Africa, BMW is more than just a car. It's a national icon with a fanatical following that spans across all generations and almost all backgrounds. We is called Man, and we will continue to honor you 30 years to come. The new BMW. And while it's true that not everyone finds themselves in the BMW corner, what everyone can agree on is that this brand is a part of our social fabric. It's a brand that can say a lot about who you are or who you want to be. It's a statement. It's the, I'll get one when I retire. It's the, I need a Sunday driver, I should get a BMW. It's the, I don't drive my BMW in the rain, BMW. The BMW is the, I've reached my dream car. The story of BMW in South Africa starts like all good stories, with a crazy idea and a massive gamble. I'm now driving the BMW 2000 SA, a odd and uniquely designed car. In fact, the designer is Italian, well known for designing old school Maseratis in the 50s and 60s. He goes by the name of Pietro Frua. He also designed the glass cars from the 60s. In fact, that design element gave him the name and some of the cars that he designed, Glaseratis. BMW saw it fit to buy this company and turn this sedan into a South African exclusive. Behold, the 2000 SA. By modern day standards, it's definitely an old car, but you can still feel the quirkiness and the delight when you switch through the gears. It's comfortable, it's efficient, and it's quite nippy if you ask me. We're at BMW plant in Roslyn and I'm driving the first official BMW to be manufactured here at this iconic place called BMW Roslyn plant. What are the striking things that you notice when you see a BMW? It definitely has to be the grill and the kidney. This 2004 shows that this is a proper BMW. So this is the BMW 2004. It has a few bits from other BMWs and it's the hybrid version of the 2000 SA. So, starting off in the front, the grille is from the E3 and so are the headlights. The kidneys on the car is unique to this car. The indicators on this car are from the E9. So think about the old school coupe version of the BMW the three liter CSL, if you want to be exact. And then the tail lights are quite odd. They're from the E12 or the first generation five series, and they've been turned upside down. The car has been manufactured in South Africa and 
It's the first authentically and 100% South African BMW. These two cars may have looked like they'd fit in in a Cold War spy movie, but their sexy Italian design and styling made for a very desirable car for a lot of South Africans back in the day. There's so many ways and so many names to associate a BMW. You know why? It has an undeniable culture in South Africa. With each and every family you can think of, they can resonate with a BMW because it's just that car. It's brought in the culture of motoring and it's brought in a long-standing history that anyone and everybody still talks about today. Driving one of those BMWs, so I'm like shaking with the adrenaline, it was awesome. Amazing, I've never felt something like that before. I don't even know what to say. What is it about BMW? For me, it's not a car, it's, it's a statement. And that's the sentiment of many people out there. The BMW E3 was the first proudly South African 100% BMW with no Hans Glass affiliation at all. BMW Germany took over Praetor Motor Assemblies and the name became more elegantly known as BMW South Africa. Now with Roslyn Plant officially on the go with international standards, BMW was good to go. And believe me, BMW's impact was almost immediate and it saw this initially little known brand quickly become a household name. You've watched the video. Now buy the limited edition book detailing the exceptional history of BMW in South Africa and the unique and amazing cars created here. Click on the link below to secure your copy now before they're all snapped up.